the resistance. That is the question. The question is it not why I am buying a 1945 replica Pearl Trooper British beret? It is not why am I speaking in this horrible French accent? It is why calculate resistance. I am confused. You are confused? Let us calculate some resistance right now. Resistance! That is French for resistance. Let us begin. Resistance. The question. If a circuit contains two 3 volt batteries and contains a 16 ohm resistor and an 8 uh, uh, ohm resistor then flowing through the circuit how many amps would you find? Okay, that's the question. I hope you got that. Now, if you're in my class, you've heard this before. If this is the first time watching this video, then enjoy. When you have a mathematical uh, question in science, it is the smartest thing to do to organize your thoughts, even no matter how awesome you are at containing information in your brain. Whether whether you're totally awesome at that or you're just too stubborn to write things down, just write things down. Organize your thoughts. You do that by writing down what is given and what is required. So, what is given? We have two 3-volt batteries. So we have some voltage here. Now, when they're in series like this, all you have to do is add them. Now, most of the time, the picture will just have you know, six volts here, the six volt batteries, and, and you can figure out how many volts are in each battery. But that's what series means in one big old loop. Now, I've drawn this picture for you to, to help illustrate this. You have two three volt batteries. So how much voltage do we have? Six volts. That's what's given. We also have a resistor here of 16 and a resistor here of eight. The same thing applies. Resistors slow down the flow of electrons through this circuit, and so it's going to th slow it down. 16 ohms is going to slow it down, and another 8 ohms of slowage. So we have the resistance of 16 plus 8, okay? And we know that's 24, because you've just done the math in your head. All right, so that is, that's what we have here, and it's looking like we need amps, okay? We're looking for I equals I don't know so if we are looking for that now we have we have a pretty fancy awesome uh, equation here resistance equals the voltage divided by the current okay now that's in that's in the formula sheet that I provide my students so how do we manipulate this uh, once again, you can use the Triforce of Power because this thing only has one, two, three variables. And so let's fill in this triangle. Um, we see V over top of I. So I'm going to put a V over top of I, and I'm going to fill in the blanks with the last variable. Um, you can do this. If you don't know how to manipulate this formula, then just draw the Triforce of Power like I just did. Rewind it a couple of times. Figure it out. It works for every single variable or every single formula that has only three variables. Your teacher or your professor may not like this, may not agree with it, but you know what? I don't give a crap. This is how an easy way to avoid manipulating formulas. Uh, it's not going to help you practice manipulating, that's for sure. And I don't support that. I, I think it's better just to know how to mathematically manipulate formulas, but you know what? It, in the course that I teach right now, this is just fine. So we are looking for the current. I'm going to put my finger over that. So V over R, right? Is that, is that, is that the way things go here? Yeah. Block it off. I equals V is over top of R. So voltage over resistance. And so to find how much current is running through here in the grand series of this deal, um, we have ourselves or how much current we have the voltage which equals 6 volts divided by 24 ohms. And all we have to do, so current equals, and it's pretty easy here, 0.259 amps. All right? So that's the way to, oh my goodness, I've just done this noob mistake here. I've just done, uh, I figured it out, okay? So 
you need to be able to manipulate this formula. These different resistance questions might be asking you what the resistance is, so that's V over I. It might be asking you what the, uh, what the voltage is, given the resistance and the current flowing through. The trick is being able to um, see what's going on, organize your thoughts, and manipulate this formula to get the question. So keep practicing. I hope this helped.